Hi, I'm KD, your safety trainer, and in today's video, we'll be talking about cranes and standard hand signals for crane operation. When it comes to using a crane or boom truck, safety is everything. If you want to ensure that your load is placed safely, you need to be able to communicate effectively with the operator. Thankfully, there is a universal language for directing crane movements that is used all over the world the standard hand signals. By using these established signals, you can quickly and efficiently convey what you need the operator to do. Plus, it's crucial that the crane operator follows the standard code of signals and employs a signaler to ensure that everything runs smoothly. So whether you're a seasoned crane operator or a newcomer to the industry, it's essential to brush up on these signals to keep yourself and everyone around you safe. When it comes to operating a crane, having a qualified signaler is crucial. There should only be one designated signaler at a time to ensure clear communication between them and the operator. If there is a need for signalers to switch out, the new signaler in charge should make sure to wear a badge of authority that is easily visible. The crane operator must move loads solely based on signals from this designated signaler. It's important to note that the operator must obey any stop signals regardless of who gives them. Prioritizing safety and clear communication can make all the difference in a job well done. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. Using hand signals to direct a crane has numerous benefits. As a signaler, you must have a clear view of both the crane operator and the load, and you must ensure that no one is within the crane's operating area. It is also essential to never direct a load over a person. Hand signaling provides clarity as a limited vocabulary of standard hand signals minimizes any ambiguity. Additionally, these signals travel at the speed of light and can be formed faster than spoken words. Hand signals allow for clear communication over longer distances and noisy environments without the need for verbal directions. So not only are hand signals safer, but they also help optimize your job and ensure a more efficient work environment. Before we dive into hand signals, make sure when you are giving the signals, there are a few things in place. Firstly, make sure you're visible to the crane operator and to all other employees. Also make sure where you are is in a safe place outside of the operation radius of the crane. It's imperative to maintain eye contact with the crane operator. For most of these signals, it can be assumed that one of your hands that is not signaling is hanging by your side unless otherwise stated. Do all of these and you're set up for a successful operation. The main hoist is like the crane's big strong arm. It's used to lift the heaviest and largest objects. When you need to lift something very heavy, the main hoist comes into action. It has a lot of power and can move the object up and down. First hold your arm out beside you. Make a fist and tap your thumb on the top of your head. Then proceed to use a regular signal to indicate your desired action. The auxiliary hoist is like the crane's smaller, helpful arm. It's used for lighter loads and tasks that require more precision. The auxiliary hoist can move objects in different directions like side to side or forward and backward. It's often used for tasks that need more control and finesse. Bend your arm and have your forearm vertically pointing up in a fist. And with the other hand, tap the elbow. Then proceed to use a regular signal to indicate your desired action. This sign is used to signal to the operator to stop moving the load. This is not an emergency stop. We'll cover that a bit later. To signal stop, place your arm near your chest, palm down. Keep your hand level with the ground and extend your arm away from your body only once, just like an orchestra conductor. The emergency stop signal is a crucial signal to use in situations where immediate stopping of crane operations is necessary for safety reasons. To signal an emergency stop, place your arms near your chest, palms down, fingertips almost touching, keeping your hand level with the ground, extending your arm away from your body multiple times. This can also be done with only one hand. Just make sure that the signal is done multiple times. Please note that the stop and the emergency stop signals can both be accompanied by a verbal cue like stop or emergency stop. Lifting or raising a heavy object using a crane or lifting equipment. It involves using the crane's hoist mechanism, such as the main hoist or auxiliary hoist, to lift the load off the ground to a desired height. The hand that is not signaling should be hanging by your side. Hold your arm out in front of you and point your index finger upward, bending the elbow 90 degrees. Move your arm smoothly and deliberately to give the clearest signal possible. Move your forearm with your finger pointed up in a small circle. 
Lowering a load refers to the process of carefully bringing down a suspended load in a controlled manner using a crane or other lifting equipment. It involves reducing the height of the load from an elevated position to a desired lower level, taking precautions to maintain stability and prevent any sudden or uncontrolled movements. The hand that is not signaling should be hanging by your side. Hold your arm out beside you and point your forearm and index finger downward, bending the elbow 90 degrees. Move your arm smoothly and deliberately to give the clearest signal possible. Move your forearm with your finger pointed down in a small circle. Operating a crane at slower speeds is essential for precise and controlled movements, particularly in tight or restricted workspaces. It's also necessary during adverse weather conditions when handling challenging loaves or when visibility is compromised. Slower speeds promote enhanced control, safety, and improved accuracy, ensuring efficient and effective crane operations. When signaling to the operator to perform the desired action in a slower manner, the only difference is the non-signaling hand. Usually it should be at your side when signaling normal operation. Hold your non-signaling hand above the hand signal you're using with your palm facing down. For example, to hoist a load slowly, hold your arm out beside you, bending the elbow and pointing your index finger up. The opposite hand will be above the signal as you're moving your index finger in a circle. When you signal to raise the boom, you are instructing the crane operator to lift the main arm, allowing the load to be lifted to a higher position. Extend your arm out to your side and make a fist with your thumb pointing up. When you signal to lower the boom, you are instructing the crane operator to lower the main arm, bringing the load to a lower position. Extend your arm out to your side and make a fist with your thumb pointing down. Raising the boom and lowering the load at the same time in a crane operation refers to the action of simultaneously elevating the crane's boom while lowering the suspended load. This technique is commonly used when precise positioning of the load is required, such as when placing materials on different levels or adjusting the height of the load during the operation. By raising the boom and lowering the load simultaneously, operators can achieve the desired vertical placement and maintain control over the load's position. Extend your arm to your side, make a fist with your hand with your thumb pointing Point it up. Open and close all your fingers repeatedly, keeping your thumb still. For this signal, you're instructing the crane operator to lower the boom and raise the load using the hoist. Extend your arm to your side. Make a fist with your hand with your thumb pointed down. Open and close all your fingers repeatedly, keeping your thumb still. Swing boom refers to the movement of the crane's boom horizontally in a circular motion. It allows the crane to position the load in different directions without moving the entire crane itself. It doesn't matter which arm is used, the operator will swing in the direction indicated. The swing boom function enables the crane operator to rotate the boom left or right, allowing for precise placement of the load of various positions around the crane's working area. The signal swing boom, extend your arm out in front of you and point the direction you would like to swing towards. Again, it doesn't matter which hand you're using, although you should try to maintain eye contact, the crane operator will swing in the direction that has been indicated. When we say a crane is traveling, it means that the crane is moving from one place to another. It can go forwards, backwards, sideways, or even in turn in different directions to reach its destination. Traveling is an essential part of crane operation as it allows the crane to position itself in the right place to perform lifting and other tasks. Have your hand close to your chest to begin. Push out with your hand, palm facing out like you're pushing a box with one hand. Some booms are telescopic, meaning they can retract or extend. This can be done to adjust the reach or position of the load being lifted or to prepare the crane for transportation or storage. When you retract the boom, you are shortening the length, making it closer to the body of the crane. Have both hands out in front of you with your thumbs pointed inward. When you extend the boom, you are lengthening it, moving it further from the body of the crane. Have both hands out in front of you in fists with your thumbs pointed outward. In construction, there may be situations where you need to signal the crane operator to retract the boom using only one hand. This signal is typically used when you want to decrease the length of the boom to reach a specific area or position the load at a closer distance while using one hand. Make a fist with your thumb pointed away from you. Tap the heel of your fist to your chest multiple times. Again, in construction, there may be situations where you need to signal the crane operator to extend the boom using only one hand. This signal is typically used when you want to increase the length of the boom to reach a specific area or position the load at a farther distance while using one hand. Make a fist with your thumb pointed towards you. Tap your thumb to your chest multiple times. Dog everything is another way of saying pause. There will be some instances of the crane needing to stop temporarily. For example, if a sudden rain starts or a pedestrian wanders too closely to the crane operation radius. When that happens, this hand signal can be used to pause crane operation or to dog everything. To signal a pause or to stop a crane operator, begin with your hands in front of your chest, palms facing you. Bring your hands together, joining both hands together at the thumb and index finger joint. One hand will rest over the other. 
Hold this position until the crane operator acknowledges the signal and stops the crane operation. That's all for today's lesson. If you like this video, look for us on social media. And remember, stay safe out there.